Hi, Caleb with Brownhouse here, and in today's product spotlight, we're going to be taking a look at the BRN15 handguards. Uh, but I just have two of the 16 inches right here, and I wanted to do a deep dive into them. I noticed, you know, in a new product video, we were getting quite a bit of questions about them. Uh, so I wanted to just dive in and tackle those. So, like I've mentioned before, we have the 16 inches right here. They are available in other lengths. We have 13.7, uh, and then also 10 and a half inch. But the only difference between these two 16 inch ones here uh, is one is the government profile barrel and the other is the lightweight profile barrel. And it's going to be pretty much the same uh, on the other ones as well. So pretty much everything with this government profile barrel applies to those other lengths also. So with this pencil profile barrel, obviously that means you're going to have a smaller diameter gas block. So 0.625 inch gas block. And on the standard government profile, of course, that one's going to be 0.750, which is the standard for pretty much anything else out there. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just kind of take a look at it here. I'll set the pencil aside. Uh, forward assist, upper receiver stuff, that's all pretty standard. Uh, one thing I did notice is that the ejection port cover pin uh, is knurled on the front, which I thought was actually kind of cool. It uh, doesn't really, unless you already have it installed, that doesn't really serve any purpose other than cosmetic. Um, the upper receiver itself, standard mil spec, uh, 7075, T6, hard code anodized, all mil spec stuff there. And then the handguard, which... I'll just say this, I um, I was actually pretty impressed with this handguard. The handguard itself is a 6061 T6 hardcode anodized, but the anodizing is just a, is a really good, like just smooth, good quality anodizing. The machining's really good on this handguard. A lot of, and this upper, let me back up on that. This upper is really affordable compared to a lot of other upper receivers out there. And I think the handguard itself, you would see just the handguard the price of you know some of these what these uppers run um, in this quality range I should say so I mean that's that's what kind of blew my mind about these is just the the quality of the components for the price I know you're like your work that you work there you're supposed to say that kind of stuff but um there that's just that's my personal opinion so you know take it for what it's worth okay uh, let's actually go ahead and pull this handguard off because I actually haven't had this apart yet so we're going to be doing this both at the same time. All right. The handguard looks like it attaches with two cross bolts going across the bottom here. We're going to use our fix-it sticks to just pull these off. And I'm just using a 1 8 Allen key on these. All right. That's a pretty good size bolt there. Larger bolts than what you see on typical handguards. All right, and that comes right off. Notice that there are pretty pronounced anti-rotation tabs on the uh, actual handguard itself. All right, and this is there's there's quite a bit of meat on the handguard. I mean, when you look at it, but it's really light. I was expecting it to be a little bit heavier when I pulled it off. Uh, so that's nice. All right. So the barrel nut is a 4150 steel. Uh, the barrel on these uppers is also a 4150 steel. Uh, the barrels are stress relieved and they are nitrided. All right. So let's take a look at this gas block. All right. So it looks like it's just set screwed on. And like I said, guys, I'm, I'm saying it looks like it's just set screwed on because I haven't actually had these apart yet. All right. And I'm just kind of looking to see if there's anything on these screws here. Looks like there is a thread locker on the screws, so a high temp thread locker was used there. And it looks like the barrel is also dimpled. All right. All good things, all what you would um, want to see 
on an assembled upper receiver, so that's good. I'll just throw these screws back in here. Now typically in this case you would want to add some more thread locker, but I'll, uh, I'll do that later when you guys aren't waiting on me. All right, and there is a standard mil spec compensator on there with a crush washer. And I will say this, so if you get the lightweight profile barrel, everything's exactly the same, except obviously the barrel. And instead of a crush washer, there's a lock nuts that, that's used, okay? So if you want to remove the muzzle device on these, make sure you back off that lock nut first, and then you can pull off your muzzle device. All right. But everything else is exactly the same. All right, standard mil spec gas tube on there. Mid-length gas system. I mean, that's that's all what we we want to see nowadays on on upper receivers. And uh, that's I think we we pretty much went through it all. Of course, you can get these upper receivers uh, with or without charging handle and bolt carrier groups. Uh, if you do get the ones with the charging handle and bolt carrier group. Uh, it's going to come with a Brownells nitride bolt carrier group and a standard mil spec charging handle. So uh, you can save a little bit of money even further by bundling with those as well. All right, so um, oh, we didn't mention on the handguard, there's M lock slots that go all the way across the bottom. And on the front, you have M lock slots at pretty much every position. Uh, and then you have them going all the way up the sides. But you don't have them going all the way across that. What's that, like a, I don't know, 130-ish, roughly? I, but they don't go all the way back. You just have vents in the back here, uh, which is uh, where a lot of your weight reduction comes from. That would do really well at venting heat as well, so that's nice to see. We'll just throw this back on. All right, and those are the BRN 15 uppers from Brownells. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. Um, and I'll, uh, if there are any big questions on these, I'll, I'll try to pin them in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube. And if not, feel free to give us a call on the tech line if you're watching this on the website. And of course, if you are watching this on the website, I will link all the products down below. So thanks for joining us. And we'll see you next time.